We are now ready to begin the Butler Press Conference. Coach Holtman, could you please give us an opening statement? Uh, give, you know, give Virginia a lot of credit. I said that to Tony after the game. I thought uh, um, they uh, were exceptional, particularly in the second half. And uh, uh, it's a credit, uh, credit to them. I, I just I can't say enough about, um, you know, our seniors. I just think they are absolute warriors. And uh, so proud to coach them. So proud to coach them. And I've been proud every, every, every day to coach them. And, my biggest regret is that I'm not going to have a chance to coach him another day. So it's certainly incredibly disappointing and, and abrupt um, as, it is, as it is for everybody. But we certainly give uh, Virginia credit for a hard-fought game and a win. Okay, at this time we're going to open the floor for questions for the student athletes. Once again, for the student athletes, let's start here, Davis, and then Casey, if we can go in the aisle. Andrew, will you talk about the highs and lows of your game? Um, so, uh, basically it was just them finding me in open areas. Um, they hedge hard, they, they're up in your face on defense and stuff like that. Um, so just open areas, I mean, Kellen and Rose free up so much space on the offensive end. Um, so it was just open areas, them finding me in sweet spots and luckily I was able to knock them in today, but just a little short. What about the last 15 minutes? I mean, they started switching um, one through four on me. Uh, Brogdon was normally on me the most. And um, I mean, he played a great defense. And uh, like I said, other, that opened up opportunities for other guys as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, the outcome obviously hurts a lot more. Okay, we can go to Mike in the middle here. Roosevelt, what was it that they were doing in the second half that allowed them to shoot such a higher percentage? They were. 38% in the first half and over 70 in the second half? <clears throat> um, they started uh, decking the ball to the basket and posting up more in the second half. They, uh, they must have made that an impact at halftime to make sure they drive us and get to the lane. And uh, Brockner, he got me uh, a couple of time, few times on back-to-back -back possession. So that kind of freed them up and opened more space on the offensive end. So I'll take blame for that because I let Brockner get going in and open the space up for everybody else on their team. We're going to go over here on our right. Joe Kayata from NBC10 in Providence. Uh, Andrew, um, obviously you said it was a tough loss, but can you just uh, describe the experience of coming to the big dance for two straight years now? I mean, it's still bittersweet, obviously. Like, our seniors, they deserve another weekend. Um, obviously, we worked all, all year for this. Um, we, were, we put ourselves in an opportunity to win this game and just fell a little short. So it's obviously very bittersweet just because we made it, but we wanted another weekend out of this at least. Okay, go way up front to Whitey here. Uh, yeah, this is for Andrew. Um, you mentioned uh, Brogdon was playing great defense. What specifically was he doing that maybe the other UVA defenders who had previously guarded you hadn't been doing? I mean, they were switching one through four at that point. So every ball screen I was going into, um, there was just someone in my lap basically the entire time. And with Brogdon, he's just obviously very physical on the defensive end. Um, so, like I said, that ended up actually opening up other opportunities for other players just because the court was more open. But, uh, yeah, it was just his physicality and then them switching just uh, made it more difficult. Okay, go to David in the middle here and then we'll go back. Yeah, this is David Woods with Indy Star. Uh, for Kellen, Kellen was there a uh... – was there a, a point in the game when you you felt like it was uh, it was slipping away from you guys, or did you did you feel like you were, I guess, within within striking distance all, all the way to the end? Yeah, I think we were pretty confident throughout just their style of play. Um, you know that they play you know with a really slow tempo, so uh, you know they're they're gonna grind it out just like uh, we try to do, and uh, we always felt like we were definitely in striking distance. But obviously, they're a fantastic team. We're going to go way in the back. Roosevelt, you had the chase down block opportunity with about a minute left. Did, did you feel like you, you could get there? And how close were you to, to getting that clean? You're talking about the chase down block I had? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they showed the replay. I didn't touch them at all, but the ref called the foul. But I can't do anything about that. I, 
it's the last, it could be a potential last game. So I'm trying to make sure I do whatever I can to try and get the block. And I felt that I got it clean. I didn't touch his body at all, but the ref felt otherwise. But there's nothing I can do about it now. Any other questions for the student athletes? Let's go back to David. Yeah, for, for any of you, does, does Virginia, did they resemble any uh, other opponent that you, uh, that you played this season? Kellen, could you please answer that? Uh, no, uh, I would say not anybody that we played in particular. Um, you know, they're a very good team. I'm not going to say they're, you know, exactly like us, but they have a lot of similarities, I think, on defense. And uh, no, but they, they have a unique style of play, I think. Any other questions for the student athletes? Right behind you, Casey. Can you get Kip the? Yeah, Kip Coons for the uh, Rally News and Observer. Kellen, do, were you surprised at all that they, they mostly guarded you with a smaller guy rather than one of their, their bigger wings? Uh, I don't know if I was necessarily surprised. Um, I've, I've kind of seen it all, so I was, I was kind of ready for anything. But um, I, think, uh, I think I was just able to, you know, have the opportunities that I was make the most of them. Can we get a microphone to Aaron here? Uh, Aaron McFarling with the Roanoke Times. Kellen, I mean, when Andrew was going off early in the game, I mean, was that a situation where you start really looking for him on, on almost every possession? Yeah, for sure. Um, we felt like we had a, a matchup that we liked, and of course we're going to exploit it uh, to try to win the game. And, you know, he's such a fantastic player that uh, he draws so much when he gets going. You know, what it was a 4-4 four, four on three, he's like, um, when he's hitting shots, he's almost unstoppable. So uh, we try to go through him when he's really feeling it like that. And uh, it was a joy to play with him out there for, for last time. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, gentlemen, you're excused. Thank you very much. We'll now open the floor up for questions for Coach Holtman. Mike, did you have one? Right there. Hey, Chris, Mike Barber, Richmond Times Dispatch. This team has been knocked out of the tournament uh, the past two years by Michigan State, playing a very physical half-court style, a team that was willing to play them the way they played. How cognizant uh, of that were you, and was that sort of the idea to kind of beat them at their own game? You know, I, I think we were, you know, this time of year, you kind of are who you are, so you're going to try to play to your strengths and your style of play and not necessarily deviate from that. So I, I don't know that uh, uh, we cer I certainly was aware of the fact that, that uh, they had lost to Michigan State. But uh, there's no question that we needed to play more physical than what we had at various times. And I think we did that uh, uh, at times, particularly in the first half defensively, not, not as much in the second half. We'll go right up front here to Doug. Yeah, Doug Dowdy from the run-up times. Virginia goes two for ten on three-pointers, had been shooting three-pointers very well. How much of a focus was that on your part, and did you have to give up something to, to defend them that well? You know, I think you're, you're obviously aware of, of Brogdon and Parentes, and, you know, they put great pressure on you uh, with their ability to make shots, and they really make contested shots at a really high level. You know, I think what hurt us was decking the ball, and they isolated us in the second half. Um, four isolated us on one side of the floor and drove us when we went a little bit small, smaller. And then, you know, they just put their head down and started decking it. And uh, we had trouble with that as we have, uh, you know, throughout various times. But give them credit. They made plays. They made some tough shots um, really in the second half. Go back to Mike there. Chris, what made Malcolm so effective on Andrew when they made that defensive switch? I think he's defensive player of the year in the league, isn't he? You know, uh, just he's a terrific, he's a terrific defender. He's smart. He's physical. He's strong. Um, he doesn't he doesn't give you angles or bail you out. You know, I think um, we posted him and, and got him. A, you know, Drew got to the foul line a couple times when Brogdon switched on him. They fouled him a couple times, but there was a critical one where he didn't foul. He walled up. Uh, at least that's what it was called. And um, you know, I think uh, he just, he's got a great feel for how to defend. He moves his feet well. He's tough. Any other questions? Can we go to David right there? Coach, 
I don't have had much time to reflect, but given where Butler was in late January, um, do you, I guess, leave Raleigh at least feeling like you know you got maybe a, a, as much out, out of the, the Bulldogs as as anyone could have expected? Yeah, David, it's um, it's obviously incredibly difficult. Um, you know, it was a as it is in every locker room. Uh, it was really emotional, but. Listen, when you, when you think about our seniors and just the transition they've had in the last couple years, and then um, our three and six start, and then obviously, um, you know, people we love and care about in our in our basketball family, um, uh, that that uh, you know our our whole program went through some some things this year. So I, I just am. I can't say enough about our, our seniors and their ability to, to lead us through some, uh, na help us navigate through some difficult times. And um, I think they've made an unbelievable impression on, 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 on Butler. And I know Butler's made a real impression on them. So I'm really, really, really proud of this group. And I'm really, really sad that I don't get to coach them another day. Go right up front here. Uh, Coach, as far as uh, Virginia's the rest of the season tournament, uh, what quality do you like about them to carry them the rest of the way, especially considering Michigan State's not in their path anymore? You know, I think they're, you know, they are who they are. Uh, they're really uh, physical and tough. They make it difficult for you to score. Um, they're smart and intelligent in how they play. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not certainly going to put any more undue pressure on on Tony or Virginia than than's already there. Uh, they've got the number one seed by their name, but I, I think they're poised um, to have a very good tournament. And um, you know, we have a we have a great appreciation for how they how they play. Casey, could you turn around to Kip right there? Yeah, Chris, uh, Kip Coons for the Raleigh News and Observer. They used Parentis a lot to shadow Dunham, and it looked like he had a hard time getting open looks. Was was that the reason why you you finally moved him off the ball and with uh, with pairing him with Lewis? Um, you know, I, I think that they didn't guard necessarily. We knew they were going to give Kellen a lot of attention. And, um, you know, a lot of people have played smaller, uh, uh, quicker guys on Kellen, try to get up underneath him. That's, that's been a recipe for a lot of people. Um, but, you know, they're detailed. It's not necessarily how big or small you are. It's how detailed you are. Parentis did a good job. He's a highly detailed kid. And uh, I think that... You know, I certainly uh, was was hoping. I think there was a couple times where where Kellen might have been able to to get free and snap one off. But um, you know, he 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 commanded a lot of attention tonight, and uh, uh, deservedly so. Any other questions for Coach Holtman? All right, Coach. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Should be starting the Virginia press conference shortly.